What is up guys, Poncho Cortez coming at you with another hair product review and today I'll be talking about Murray's Olive Oil Hair Nourisher. Um, usually I talk about pomades, I mean you could technically consider this a pomade since it is oil based for one thing and it also has um, just like regular pomades you could recomb it. This is a, a day two of me using Murray's. Uh, I tried to wash it out this morning but just like the regular Murray's products that's kind of hard to do uh, especially it has petroleum in it, which it does actually. In the ingredients list here, it does contain olive oil in it, but it's like a you could say extract. It says petroleum, though that's the number one ingredient. Like all the other Murray's products, the only difference is is the just the labeling on it. It's got cursive handwriting right there, and it says olive oil. So I guess it's trying to market itself as like um, organic kind of product you could say honestly I wasn't all that crazy about it just because back here it would keep on splitting and so I'd have to recomb it every five minutes and that just kind of frustrated me another thing that you can that you notice about this is that it has the same kind of container as the uh, beeswaxes it's got the exact same container just different labeling um, only difference is this is the one they see on the back of the other Murray's tins or even right here, really. It's exactly like that, except it's orange. Um, Scent-wise, though, and application-wise, it does smell exactly like the Murray's Pomade. The original Pomade smells exactly like it. Um, excuse me. It also has, like, a green tint to it. Um, it does provide a lot of shine, so... Um, that is one good thing about it. The application isn't even that hard at all, so it's easy to scoop out. That way you don't have to really worry about um, reheating the pomade in your hair. Um, I have used this numerous times. I did use this uh, going to homecoming with my girlfriend. Uh, I just mixed it with some super light, so it held together pretty well, I'd say. It just gets your hair really greasy if you blend it with other pomades. So, um, just a heads up. Um, other than that though, I mean, it's really not my thing, because it had a hard time holding down a slick back. Um, it had a hard time holding down a slick back, which kind of pissed me off, just because like, like I said, you have to recomb it every five minutes, and so that got me really frustrated. Uh, it is a hair nourisher, so it does get your hair soft after it's like, left your head. It, it does leave it soft, which is one benefit I could say about this product. Um, other than that though... It's exactly like, um, it's got the exact same hold as like, uh, the Thrust Flores molding pomade, you could say. Just because, like, it's not all that strong and it kind of does leave it split. So, uh, depending on how your hair is, I wouldn't really recommend it if your hair is, um, really resistant to, uh, hair products that are just like, they're at like a normal hold. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Poncho Cortez. Sorry I haven't come out, uh, with any other videos lately, but I've just been really busy. So uh, I'll try to come out with any more content, and uh, have a good one.